Hi, this is Maya with RICO. This video is how to create PDFs of records in Relativity. As you can see, I'm looking at a record in the Core Reviewer interface. We have an option to print save as PDF. When you click this button, the current viewer is going to be used to create your PDFs. So if we use the image, for instance, and we select the print save as PDF, we get a few options that we'll have to select from. We can make the text searchable. We can include or exclude highlights or redactions. And we can designate whether or not they're normal or transparent. If they're transparent, you will be able to see that there is a redaction on the document, but it will be gray instead of black or transparent instead of opaque. So you'll be able to see the text underneath. You can include a slip sheet. This is going to contain the document information for whatever coding layout we've selected. In this case, I've selected document metadata, so it'll populate the available fields listed in whatever layout you've selected. Because this document is not a produced image, we'll have to give it a stamp. The doc identifier is useful. Otherwise, um, we can use a specific field such as the Bates number. If we needed to, for instance, look at a clean image of a produced record with new redactions, we can give it the stamp location here, and we can also select the page range of what we want to export. I will run my export a little more simplified. Something to note when you make the text searchable, it takes longer to export because it's going to OCR the document for you before the document downloads. So if you want it to go faster, download it without OCR and then maybe use your local PDF um, application to create OCR text of the documents you download. Once I hit save, I get a pop-up window that tells me that it's working. And when it's done downloading, it will open up the document for you in a new browser window, as you see here. Now, if you wanted to export many PDFs for many documents all at once, we can do a mass action from any document list. We select the documents we want to export, either the checked items or all listed in your search. I'll just do a few. And we select the PDF mass action. We find our pop-up. And now we have some more different options. Now the file types option, this is what we were looking at in our specific viewers. So here was our native viewer. So this will convert the native file to a PDF. Here's the images radio button, also called original images. So these are the unendorsed images. And then we have the produced records, the records in that last radio button where our produced images reside within the document viewer. Our PDF options are how we want to receive those in our download. Individual PDFs in a zip means that we're going to receive a zip file download with each record separated by document within that zip file. So you'll get four PDFs within a zip file for this specific download. The single PDF means that you're going to have one PDF containing all four documents. The PDF portfolio, it'll create an Acrobat PDF portfolio, which contains all four documents within the one portfolio, but you'll still be able to see the document boundaries within Acrobat's portfolio format. So I will choose produced images. I will create PDFs in a zip and we can name them by a specific field. In this case, um, we can choose from control number, which is the document identifier. It might be called bed control in your fields, in your database. And we can pick control number and field. So we can pick the 
document identifier plus another field that is any field which is a long text or a fixed length text. Or we can just have it named by a field. In this case, I'm going to look for our um, production begin dates. Okay, so I'm producing the produced images in a zip file named by the begin dates. Um, we can append the field type, which will add a little suffix. I'm sorry, append file type. That'll append the file type behind the file name, which in this case is the begin dates. I don't want that for the specific, but it would be useful for natives. Um, you can prefix a sequential number. What this means is that it will take the listed number within your search and add a prefix so that your begin Bates number will have a little bit of a, an override in terms of sorting. So in your Windows Explorer, it will sort by 0, 1, 2, 3, and 4 instead of sorting by the Bates number. We have a few more options here. For documents that may have been included in your search that were not produced, we can select an option to include the original images. So that would be the unendorsed images. We can modify the production order for any documents that were produced twice. So if we had a document that was produced in Prado 1 and then later again, in another prod, we can set which order of priority will be exported in this export. And finally, here is our settings for our PDF profile. We have only one default profile in this database which configures these settings. Now, if you needed to configure your settings, talk to your case admin to make a new PDF profile. This includes whether or not your document is um, searchable or including highlight and redactions, which we saw from the document reviewer. You can still configure those options, but they're configured with profiles now. So talk to your case admin. So once we have that all set up, we can select create PDF and we will download our PDFs. All right, so we can see that we received our download here, but we had some errors. So I'm going to download the errors as a CSV file. So when I open up the download that I received, oh, and you'll also get an email sent to your inbox letting you know that your files are ready for download just in case this window disappears or gets closed accidentally. So you can see we have three items of the four that we checked. They're named by the beginning Bates number. And here is the CSV file for the error message that we downloaded from this window here when we selected download error as CSV. Error message, um, this is the document and there were no production images found for this document. This record also doesn't have clean images, but now you know what it looks like when you have a PDF export and you can troubleshoot the errors as you find them. That's the nuts and bolts of how to make PDFs using the document viewer and mass actions. Thanks for joining me today. Happy reviewing.